Tell case just proves say, a lot of people are hypocrite. Me see all some vloggers talk about say remind them of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, and Pilate I say the privy council wash them unclean. You know that same story you never hear the crowd that say free Barabbas, free Barabbas, Barabbas was a convicted murderer. Yo, reggae media TV, badder than everything we bad, and we madder than everything we mad. So let we kick off the vlog right here with some achievement. Bless up once again, people. So dancehall artists Sean Paul and Nigerian hitmaker Rima are nominated for Best Crossover Artist at the 2024 Latin American Music Awards. The announcement was made on Tuesday. The 2024 nominations are based on fan interactions across streaming, sales, radio airplay, touring, and social media interaction. So Cargo came under heavy attack after speaking about Vibes Cartel right here. Some people are saying that it is the bitter truth. People, what y'all think about this? A cartel of the government? In my government, boy? I think blood clot lizard in the blood clot prison. And that me I tell you. Fresh drop. You hear my youth? I think lizard in the right now blood clot jail. I think me idolize boy my youth. I couldn't take my things. Why don't I do? Yes. You don't go out like lizard blood clot mother now blood clot ball to go suck on the map. Me wake up this morning with me in the cloud head. Shut off. You understand? You know how me did that wake for the cloud one now. No. Lizard mama. What the fuck gonna take people think for? Eh? After me say, Gaza people, you know, humbling up the cloud self. And top it talking. Because you know, only I make the government get more irated for the artists. And you know, send the artists to prison in the first place. So attorney at law, Isaac Buchanan, representing Vibes Cartel and his co-accused, addressed statements made by Director of Public Prosecutions, DPP, Paula Llewellyn, regarding her decision to continue the trial despite jury tampering. In his response, Isaac Buchanan highlighted that the DPP's decision was wrong and apparently indicated that her actions reflected those of a degenerate. Yes, people, so a video featuring Buchanan speaking on the matter shows him expressing, We are not trying any case in the media. There is no need for any clarification after the fact. He also stated, No one should be allowed to breach constitutional rights and treat it as if it is not a breach. Yes, people, so we see she put it out that she will not be intimidated and Vibes cartel attorneys shut it down, say them not intimidate nobody or anything like that. The Vibes cartel case just proves say, a lot of people are hypocrite. Me see all some vloggers talk about say, remind them of Jesus Christ, the Messiah, and Pilate, I say the privy council wash them unclean. You know that same story, you never hear the crowd that say, free Barabbas, free Barabbas. Barabbas was a convicted murderer. Why you never use that instead of using Christ as reference? Is, Christ, is cartel perfect or even close to perfection like Christ? Use Barabbas as an example and uno, the crowd a shout out Free Barabbas! Free cartel! You know some hypocrite, you know a judge and jury now but you know love for say you know not be the judge over no man life Me not be the judge over cartel life I that not have nothing to do with me But the moment you know mention Christ Yeah man, that have something to do with me so as Mavada's son going through a similar situation, we see it out that, you know, Mavada's son hope for the best for Vibes Cartel. We also see this recent photo circulating with the gully side boss son, Mavada Dante himself. Yes, people, Dante Brooks. And as me share this, Mavada's son, me notice him not have nothing against Vibes Cartel. Son, the man, Vibes Cartel, son, little add little vibes. Them don't have anything against Dante, you know, despite the Gully Gaza feud in the past. Because I can remember just a couple years ago, about two years ago, we see Little Addy 
put out a post, you know, about Mavado Son, as you can see, free Dante right here. Yes, people, we see the post got put out, and this was a year after Dante Brooks and his co accused Andre Hines were sentenced to life in prison for the takeout in a home circuit court. Yes, people, so he currently going through his appeal process. We don't know when that will come through, but right here, as a lot of people talking about vibes cartel situation, we see this out right here. So right about now, we're gonna stop and feature a recent performance from Liquor Vibes right here. <laughs> So we see former Prime Minister PJ Patterson share his thought on Vibes Cartel trial. Yes, people saying that the judge made a fatal error. Yes, people, so right here in this article we see on Urban Islands, you know, two of Jamaica's erudite attorneys, PJ Pattison King Council and U Small King Council, has revealed that Jamaican court have dealt with the current conundrum regarding jury tampering in the Vibes Cartel case as they reveal a 1983 precedent that appeared to miss the defense attorneys, prosecutors, and the judges of the the lower court appeal court and the privy council yes people so attorney for adija palmer also called vibes cartel sean campbell kahira jones and andre st john are currently waiting for the writ issued by the privy council to be signed by the king charles before they can appear before the court of appeal so dancehall artist Masika, his independent debut album 438, released on December 3rd, 2021, has sold more than 50,000 album equivalent units through a combination of streams and sales in the United States. That album was released two years ago, yeah, and it's still in the top 10 on Apple Music Jamaica. Never been done. Yeah. Have you, you, did you have to use the, the classic album, and I'm calling it a classic, to leverage to get a record deal, or they just signed you as a brand new artist? Um, I think the, 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 the album played a major role in me signing, because from my understanding, um, from what I learned from the record labels is, most of the time they're looking for a package, not just one song, not just one vibe, you know what I mean? And, the thing is, music does sell the same way. People don't understand that. It's just the quality of the music. You understand? Music sells. People still buy music. People still interested in the music. 48 sells. Like, up to this day, it's still selling, selling. You know what I mean? And the thing is, once the... All right, with my deal and with my situation was, yeah, them like the music, them like the content, but how, where do I see myself going in five years' time? You understand? Do you see yourself becoming a superstar? Do you see yourself selling um, millions of records? You know what I mean? Because if it's not that, then it don't make no sense. You understand? So it was basically like that. Why did you need a label? Um, I felt like I have done everything I could throughout the Caribbean. Like, I've been to most of the countries like six, seven, eight times. And it's, it's, for me, it's more structure, not money. You know what I mean? And growth. So with the record label you now, you, 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 you can reach, all right, doing it yourself, time, time, it time consuming. And then you're, you're going to need the right team, right, you understand what I say? So with, personally with the record label is I already had a structure working off. So it wasn't from scratch. You understand? So they come in now, them can say, all right, this is the direction. We have this to spend, this is the type of connections that you need, this is the stuff that you do. Me coming from the Caribbean island, it's very difficult to, you understand what I say, to kind of cross over with the music and without the, the, the stuff stay. So the record label is, 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 is good in, in some sense and it, it, it all depends on the artist's work ethic. 
So you can't depend on the label to do everything. You understand? You can't depend because the label, really and truly, the label don't care. They have 100 artists where it's just another product, if you understand what I mean, t until you prove yourself. You understand? So it's just up to the artists to work hard and show them so they got it. And, you know what I mean? Definitely. All right, so big up, Masika. Bless up once again, people. Thanks for tuning in. Guidance, protection. Until next time, I'm out. Scratch. Yo! Reggae Media TV. Bada Dan. Everything we bad. Are we madder than everything we're mad? Subscribe now. You hear that?